Thursdays at this time, we focus on Shelton. I'm happy to have Mark Ziegler in studio with me from Shelton Parks and Rec. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How you doing? Good. 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 It's not raining on us. Not yet. At this time. Not <laughs> yet. We got a lot of rain coming up. Um, checking out the City of Shelton website, uh, ci.shelton.wa.us slash park and rec, and yeah. you can just Google that as uh, uh, that's what's going on. What are we talking about today? Well, you know, we just talked about rain. Yes. <laughs> How it's coming. Yes. So it's time for some indoor sports activity, Yes, right? it you is. Know, Baseball season's over for us. You uh-huh. know, some of the major league teams are still playing, but uh, yeah, it's over for us. It's over for Football us. Football season's going to wind down soon. Before so it's you time know, for basketball. Season. Yeah, get inside, recreate inside um, where it's a controlled environment, not raining on you. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, so we have our Shelton Youth Basketball League uh, taking registrations now. Um, this this league has been run for a number of years. Uh, through the Parks and Rec Department. Uh, starts in mid-November, but uh, it's never too early to sign up so we can get, you know, get kids on on, uh, on rosters and start really working through that process. For, to, for uh, most of these things, you teams. want people signing up early because then Absolutely. you get closer to the deadline and you go, well, I don't even know. Sh- we have it advertised, yeah. but nobody's really shown yeah, interest. Right, do yeah. we do this? Yeah, it's all it, 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 it all helps in planning. You know, okay. we have to order T-shirts. We yeah. have to schedule gyms. We have to um, get volunteer coaches. We order basketballs if we need them. If the influx, yeah. of, you know, of kids come in. Uh, so yeah, there's a number of planning issues that that take place there. And, and it, the earliest somebody can register, the better. And sure. some programs, the basketball league won't won't be the case but some programs we actually cancel yeah because we have minimums on those and when somebody comes in the day of or the day before and says hey i want to sign johnny up for you know whatever it is kids love soccer or you know something like that and uh, we've already canceled the program yeah because we have to let instructors know we have to let facilities know um all of those things, that things come into play on. yeah so where do you play these cool. basketball games you know, we play them all over. Um, they're all in Shelton area. Uh, high school, middle school, junior high are the primary um, facilities that we play games on Saturday mornings starting after the first of the year. So we'll start in November with some clinics and skills, um, skill development put on by the high school coaches and high school players. So they all get involved, uh, teach the kids some basic skills and fundamentals. We put them into teams in December. They start practicing as teams at that point, and then they'll start games in January on Saturdays, and they'll play games through the first weekend of February. This is all for fun for the kids. Do you guys talk to the parents at all, watching in the stands about uh, appropriate behavior? Um, I, I, we don't. We don't necessarily broadcast anything to right. everybody, but we have taken the opportunity to remind. Uh, the coaches to relay that information through the teams okay. and to the parents. That's that, probably a good that, idea. Uh, this is a recreational league. This is a competitive league. Uh, we try to make this available for any kid that wants to play, whether they've touched a basketball before or they're the you know they're the star player of their sixth grade <laughs> traveling. Yeah. Team. We want anybody <laughs> to come out here and participate, play, have fun, learn some new skills, meet friends, uh, you know, have, develop some of those social skills that are so important in mm-hmm. sports as well, and you know, and just generally have some fun. Fun because if they don't have fun, they're going to quit participating. They're going to be sitting on the couch yeah. or, or doing things that maybe you don't want them to do. And so let's let's have some fun at the early age, and then they'll keep progressing. And hopefully, these are lifelong skills that carry on for sure. everybody. Uh, one of the unique things about the city of Shelton is the Civic Center. You guys, uh, as city employees, have your offices kind of in the back and upstairs at the Civic Center. But there's that whole big wide area. And we've done events there. Uh, and I know that you can rent out uh, the area of the Civic Center. How does all that work? Yeah. Um, I happen to manage that rental space. So uh, it is available to the community, to the public. We, we, we can hold... From small meetings to you know three, four, five, six people in one of the little 400 square feet meeting rooms, uh-huh. uh, up to events that hold three, four hundred people. We've got an event coming up at the end of the month that's going to have 400 people in there. So, so like weddings or anything? Yeah, like weddings. That? Yeah, hmm. holiday parties, sure. banquets, auctions, um, board meetings. Uh, it really runs a gr- gamut in there. So um, we have a uh, there's a job fair coming up. The 20th of October that um, uh, WorkSource, uh, Pacific Mountain WorkSource is doing uh, kind of in conjunction with the, some of the mill closures in mm-hmm. town. So on the 20th, it's going to be a real busy place. Yeah. Lots of local uh, regional employers in there looking 
to hire people and so it's an opportunity for the public to come in um we've got uh we've got a wedding coming up this weekend we have a church that meets in there on sundays on a regular basis oh, okay. so it really runs a gamut. We're really flexible because of that space. You know, it's about 9,000 square feet total That's good space. Size. So um, we're really flexible. We can really accommodate a lot of different events, and we're happy to work with any group that wants to come in and talk about what they want to do. You mentioned the job fair. I forgot that we have a, a potential job opening for folks go, going back to the basketball yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have the opportunity to hire somebody to help out with that youth basketball program. It's a lot of gyms <laughs> that we're running. You know, on, on certain Saturdays, there's four or five gyms, maybe. There's weeknights as well. Um, and so it really takes some more help to help administer those yeah. programs. So um, I'll have a part time job available, hopefully, somebody with some basketball knowledge, um, but it's not necessary. Um, we contract with the high school basketball teams to ref the games. Uh -huh. so it helps trickle down through their programs, yeah. too. So we pay them, actually. They come in and ref the games on Saturdays and helps pay for their summer league and things like that, maybe uniform um, improvements and things like that. But uh, it really takes more than one person to, to administer these these programs, open up the gyms, clean up the gyms, close them down, uh, you know, make sure everybody's in the right place at the right time. So uh, they, if anybody's interested in that, they can contact me down at the Civic Center. And this is... Uh so contact you, or is this available too on the employment listings on the uh, it's website? Not on there it's yet. kind of a no, separate this deal. Is brand new. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, we will get that on there. All right. Well, you can check all those things out and get more information about the City of Shelton Parks and Rec Department uh, by following the links. We'll put them on our website. Also, you can get more uh, from Shelton Parks and Recreation. Mark Ziegler in this week, and uh, we love talking about the City of Shelton as we focus on it every week. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Jeff. Good to see you.